Right, at the moment I'm cooking dinner. Something's in the oven and I've got a spare five minutes. So I thought I'd run out um, and get this thing that was in my tackle box for probably a year or so. I got it from a chook, it was $30. And it's a good idea because it makes, you put, uh, you put cheese in this Barty Grub mold and it makes the cheese look like a Barty Grub. Now, here are the things that you need to make the Barty Grub mold. You've got your mozzarella, your spatula, obviously your Barty Grub cheese mold, and a little container or a cup, something like that, to melt the cheese in, and just a knife just to shave the excess cheese off. All right, open your container. Just drop some cheese in here. All right, my cheese is in the container. So I'll, I'll just zap that. It says for 30 seconds, but I might go a bit longer. I might go for a minute or so. What it does is it, it splits open. All right, it's starting to burn up, so I might get that ready just before it burns the house down. All right, this Barty Grub mold sort of pulls out. I might pull in. Now you drip it in there. The cheese is melted and I'll squash it in there and uh, you put it in the freezer or the fridge just for maybe 10 minutes and we'll see how it comes out. Ten minutes, I'll be back. Alright, ten minutes has passed. So I'll just get it out of the freezer and we'll see how it goes. Looks pretty good at the moment. Anyway, and there we go. There we have Barty Grub sort of slash cheese. I'm going fishing soon, so I'm going to make you know maybe 30 of these and we'll see. Here we go. Personally, I don't think it'll sort of worry the fish. The cheese is cheese, you catch them on blocks. Element, so I don't think a really a Barty Grub's going to do it, but hopefully it works and it catches me a very large cod. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope to see you out on the water.